Hello and welcome back to Factor Y. In our last episode, we greatly expanded our science uh, consumption because we already had the production here. So we now have a crap ton of, of uh, um, labs and are using a lot of re research token ones uh, to get some of these very expensive researches done. Uh, before we move into whatever's going on here, I want to take a look at... Um, at this because uh, someone said that I had ah, here's one right there someone said that I had too many of the um, uh, uh, what are these things called the influencers in the science labs and I think that's the one that oh it was uh, it was Mark said and I think that's the one that you were referring to if there's more here I'm not seeing any more those look like... Everything else looks like it's not right. Great. I did delete one that was like right here, but I missed that one down there. So uh, thanks for that, Mark. It was a uh, savings of one of those, which isn't a huge deal, but it's a good enough deal. Um, and so I did a bunch of the research off camera, uh, specifically all of these uh, Mark II belt parts, starting with the crossings we had already done, mixers and swappers, and then the three-way splitters and mergers, um, which we can get those set up very very soon here they all take mark ii belts you can see that in there and they all take motors which is kind of convenient uh let's see let's take a look at these recipes so we need four belts every two 2048 so that's one every 256 plus two motors which is one every 10 uh 1024 i want to also pull up that motor recipe just so we can look at that that is one every 512. So that's already twice as many as we need for one for this one. Uh, over here, we need two belts every 2048. That's one every 1024. And then we need two motors every 2048. So that's one every 1024, which is another half of one of these machines. This is the same recipe, two and two every 2048. Yep. This one here is four and two, which is the same as this one every 2048. And four and two over 2048. So we're gonna need, if this is running constantly, we're gonna need four, eight, 10, 12, 16 Mark II belts every 2048. Um, plus we're gonna need two, four, six, eight, ten 10 motors every 2048. That's kind of not a lot, which is kind of good. This thing here can make almost half as much as we need. So we're going to have to do about three of these for this entire array of five, which will be easily enough done. We'll just put those onto a belt maybe, or we could potentially do like a direct insert something maybe. Although the direct insert something maybe would be not as efficient, I don't think. We can uh, try that out. So three of these to those five, 16 Mark II belts um, per 2048 plus what we want for this and these are going to make one every 512 so we're going to need to have let's see four one machine will make four so we need to have four machines of these just to make enough oh we need motors here too though uh just to make enough for these assuming these are all running constantly so maybe we need about um i don't know six of them tops because we're not going to need all that much Mark II belts, I don't think. Maybe we will later. Um, and we can always expand later. Uh, we also will then need one Mark I belt every 512, which means that we need to have one of these machines for every two of those. So it's kind of a, this type of situation here. Uh, where we needed to have one belt, again, feeding two things. And which means that putting this into a module is not going to be all that good. Because the module's going to not balance that properly. Unless we did a one-to-one -one relationship, which I don't really want to do. So I think we'll just build this on the surface. Uh, we'll just maybe extend these belts as we need more of them. Uh, we'll take this thing up. I'm not going to connect it, but we'll take it up here. We'll use these into uh, making these. Like, like this. Um, this one needs one motor every 512, so that can have a dedicated motor machine, or we could have four of them for all six things. Maybe that's the better option. The motors are going to need wires and gears, which is copper and iron. That, on the other hand... Oh, and we also wanted to put these in there. 
Do I, did I unlock? I don't know if I unlocked uh, the, these or not in the Mark II. I did not. When do we get those? Let's take a look at the research real quick again. When do we get the overflow, underflow here? Uh, can we do that now? We could. Research one tokens one and two. Interesting that that doesn't point to that. I guess because it's not a direct relationship. I guess. So there may be more of these that are research token one twos besides what we have already uh, that are um, that are available now that I didn't know about. So three, yeah. So these here, um, and I don't know. Uh, what those are going to cost either. Uh, but these ones require chips. We looked at that last time. And I was thinking about how to handle that. And I think the way to do that would be to just take this, as we kind of talked about before. Uh, let's delete it. And let's just smack it down. Where did I put the miners at? Up here? Up here. Like that. And then I can delete this. And that means that I can run the chips up this way into whatever that array becomes. And I think that's the better option here, or to that array first. So let's do those first first, and then we'll do these these other things. Uh, they belt, mark two belts later. So they need um, these uh, overflows, or sorry, splitters and uh, mergers. Those are way down here, so maybe I'll just do a separate build for those with the rods. That would be a okay idea, I think. Um, let's take this one. And I think maybe that even could come into here someplace. I need the belts, though, too. Mm, no, I think they have to come up here, then. Uh, you... Maybe... Mm, no, let's do this. What do I have here? 50? Do I really want 50 of those? Probably not, but I could put 50 of them just to make my life easier. I could literally copy this array here. Uh, control C. I gotta move that one though. All right. Uh, this just, I have that down there still yet. Just delete this. It's fine. Um, delete this so that we can move it to this position. And notice I'm not connecting up the belt yet, just so that I can play with this a little bit. And then that's going to have chips, and then there's going to be another one of those. Uh, I can delete that one. Did I, did I connect the right one here? I may not have. Make sure I get the right ones paired together. Uh, merger. That's this overflow splitter. Okay, so I did them backwards. Wait. Those are the same. Uh, oops. This goes here, then. Wait, they're all splitters. They're not mergers at all. They're all splitters. Right, dummy. Okay, so we don't need this. Good thing I didn't plan this all together. Oh, wait a minute, what the heck is that? Toggle plugin filter. Toggle plugin count. Count plugin to only accept the items until the limit is reached. Okay, so this is... Um, I did this one as well, this big one. It took a while. Uh, where was that at? This one? No. Not that one. This one here. The plugins. Unlocks the plugin system, improves structure's behavior. Yes, so that's this one here. Wait a minute, how did I get to that before? Here, but not here. Just on... Okay. I'll accept this specific item. Okay, so that's filter inserters. I'll plug in to only accept items until the limit is reached. Okay, so that keeps them from having something in their hand like this, maybe? And then plug in throughput, throughput plug in to only accept a specific count of items per time. So that's basically like turning an entity into a module then. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so these are splitters. We can delete this one. Delete that then. We need just splitters. Well, this one makes one splitter every 1024, and these need one splitter every 512. Uh, we could just do two splitters like this. We don't really need it, but we could do it. And then move you up here. This one can go that way, this one coming down. These need chips in here though, so we'll need to bring chips in like this and like that. Output into a box. I'm just gonna do these, it's fine. It's fine, let's just do 50. Who cares, who cares? So iron needs to come in right here. 
I guess I could connect up these belts now. Go ahead and connect the iron up. And then I want to put in a crossing. One, two, three. Um, and then this, and then a splitter down there at the end, like this. And then this. And then you will be a... And then let's move these down like that then, in the middle, for reasons that are inconsequential. Uh, let's do a crossing again here. And I may do another one up here. We'll see what that looks like. And then a splitter uh, right in here. This will be where the where the chips come in. Chips are down. Actually, we will need more iron up there. Yeah, we'll need more iron up there. So let's uh, go ahead and put that same setup here. Like, like this. And the chips we're going to stop there for right now, but they'll continue on later. Uh, this eventually will be too much array for this, but I'm okay with it for right now. Let's do a couple more of these just to get us a little bit better. Uh, uh, this is a, this is a bummer here. There and there. Um, I'm kind of okay building over resources since these maps are so huge and whatnot. Uh, you'll go to there. You'll get this and that, that and this, and then these can come in from there. Oopsie. Okay, that's good. Now I need um, probably the f one, two, three, four. Uh, motor arrays, or motor um, setups. And so I think I'm going to do those here because we need copper and iron. We can have copper from here. We can get iron from there if I'm creative enough. Um, we can probably just split it somehow and bring it over i think that'll work out okay and then those uh it may i may do it down here or something i'll figure that part out in a bit um but we need to have wire for those which is here for example and which means that this one's gonna have to go something like that i can still do it i have an idea so we need uh eventually four of these setups uh, three effectively here for these, and then a fourth one for that. Uh, those will go maybe um, over here someplace. Let's see, belt and those motors. Uh, oh, I forgot. You need to go there, and you need to go there. There we go. Now those are getting made. Uh, so maybe that. Those are going to go out onto a belt, though. To connect them to these others, because they need to have the others like that. Let's copy this. Uh, actually, uh, that's fine. Um, these need to have some order to them that I don't really have an idea of. Uh, probably nothing super surprising though. Hmm. That's a direct. That would be onto a single belt. I could potentially do something like this, which is kind of similar to this. Um, motors, though, could come in here as well as belts if I moved it over by one more. We don't need the iron to continue, actually. We probably don't need the chips to continue. And then, of course, I put it on top of that. So it's um, it deleted the one. Let's do it there. Ish. I'm going to go grab that other one. I think this is the one. Yes. So let's think about this. If the if the belts came out of this spot here, we could have the motors going up the middle. These could go like this with the crossing there. And then come back around this way. Like a tuning fork kind of thing. Or a trident, I guess. And since there's three there, not two. And then we could use either long arms to grab those um, motors, which I think is probably the best bet here. Uh, those have a swing time of 255 for some reason. Uh, so they're, they're half the speed of the regulars. Um, but that's fine because we don't need, we need motors in 2048, we need one motor every 512, that's perfect. Two motors every, that's that's 1024 each. 
These were all two in 2048. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do it this way. I like this. This is crazy. Uh, so let's do um, longs uh, here. And then here, 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 and here. Oh, and there, too. And then this will go up to there. This will go up to there. And this one will come down from somewhere. I forgot what we talked about this one. Talked about this one at... You make one every 512, and we needed potentially... Oh, I forgot about also place to put the others. Uh, these, specifically. We talked about... Um, four... 16 every 2048 plus some. So that's, uh, this one makes four every 2048. So we needed four of these at least. So at least probably six of these. Probably six of these. Assembly Mark II just finished. Nice. Uh, should I just fit these together? I think I should just fit them together. Two, three, four, five, six. This will come up this way. Then. Um, these I want to move up. I'm just going to do it this way, though. Delete. And move them up. One whole line, basically. One whole whatever, basically. Uh, there. And then I'll put in a box. Uh, we probably don't need 200. We definitely don't need 400. I think we should go with 200 here. Um, actually, let's just do... And I don't need the fast guys, so let's just do a, um, a box here. Copy. Put it there. And then set this one to 200, I guess. Um, these, though, I'd like for them to share boxes, if we could. At least some of them. So I'm going to space this out even more. Uh, is there a reason to care which ones I do? I don't want 200 of any of these. I'm probably just going to limit them all to 50. So let's do... In that case, I'm going to move this. Uh, no, I'm not going to move this one. I can move down by one. That's fine. And then you can move... Right up next to that one. And then you can move... Oops. Right there, actually, where you were already. Yeah. You can move... Down one. And then you can move up one. There. That means you need to have belt in a belt. That's better. Um, I will do a box of 50 like this. Copy for this one, for this one with its friend there, and that one with its friend there. Uh, motors are here. We need regular uh, of these there, 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 and there. We need inputs from there, but I'm going to do that last. Four, five. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, here too. Thank you. This, that, that, this, this. There we go. This goes here. And then we just need the motors, and we decided on one, two, three, four of them. And so for this, I'm going to move... All right, you need gears also. Yeah. I forgot you need gears also. Okay... How do I want to organize? Well, I just learned a couple things, though. Uh, we don't need this iron to continue beyond that point. So delete that. Oh, wait, beyond... Oopsie. Beyond this point. And these won't need to come beyond there either. Uh, because I'm not going to add anything else to this line. So that'll be there and there. So I could potentially change this somewhat. Um, 
I can't use longs here. I gotta do the crossings, which is fine. I can easily do that. But this, how do I want to handle these? I could potentially do this as the build with gears being... I have it. Yep, there's one. The gears being like here. Do a splitter there with a crossing there so that the inserter can grab it. The regular inserter can. Um, and then use this as the repeatable block. We still need four of these, though. So let's start with the last one first. The last one needs to be... I gotta get these belts through here, too. Crap. I gotta be able to get these out of here. Uh, I need more room here. So maybe I do these up here. Yeah, let's do these up here and figure out how to get the belts together and then out again. Uh, let's do this and we'll just have them come down and over instead. Uh, let's Then let's do, stumble over your words, Molly. Let's do something more like this one where the iron and copper are together and the motors come out on the side. So take this, um, delete it, and then rotate it so that the motors come out on the side. Now they can come out like that. We'll do the last one first. That can be here. And then we just do... I'm going to keep a space there, I think, for cleanliness. And I just need to have five of those. That's three. Uh, so iron... I could actually steal this iron instead. It might be better. It might not matter. We'll take this copper up here. It'll come over maybe here. It'll go into... No, I'm going to do this differently then. It'll come over here. And it'll go into a mixer right away because I've got them on the wrong sides. This will go here. This will go here. We'll mix right there. And then these belts will just go up and mix, 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 mix. Or not mix. I'm sorry. Swap. Swapper. They'll do this, that, this, that. You get the idea. That and onward. You can have another one of these and these. That was three. We needed five, right? Yes. Let's do this. No. And I can have one whole build ready. Or two whole builds ready, but one whole build ready. This one, this one, that one, that one. Out onto a belt. This can come down like that. And that should do. And if that does do... Looks like it will. Then I can copy this. And just smack it down on top of... Except that I did the shift thing again. And I also missed a... It's fine. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably overkill. Almost certainly overkill. Uh, these here can stop like that. I'll leave the swapper there just for my own something. And then we can do this. Here. And then this one like that. Oops, there we go. Does that work? We'll find out right now. You, 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 you. Get the idea. Five of those. No, it was only four of these, wasn't it? That's fine. More is more, is more better. Or iron or copper. Those are all working. These are all working. They're all coming down into here. You're doing the slow swing. Yeah, that should do every five tens. We should have just enough swing time on that to get... We just barely made it there. I could always add a second inserter, though, too, if we wanted to make sure. Yeah, we're making it just in time. And those are getting output. And you're snagging them all right away. Which is fine, because we need to get the motors kind of buffered up, too. So that'll be okay. Um... It was suggested, too, that I could, and I could do this for the Mark 1s as well, put a smaller box at the beginning of the line, like maybe just 100 here. Uh, actually, let's copy this first. This might be better for this situation. Um, and then let's uh, copy here. Take this one to the end of the line, like that. Uh, your belts, you can go to there. Leave that one at 200. Put this one at 100, or whatever the numbers you want to do are. 
And the reason that is good is this one will stop gathering at 100 and let them pass. And then once these guys have all gathered what they need, then this one can build up to 200. And that's a, that's a really good suggestion. I like that. We could do the same with the Mark 1s, stopping you at, say, 200, and then having one up here that goes to 400. And I kind of like that idea as well. So maybe I should just do that too. Let's copy this. Uh, that's uh, shift C or yeah, Control C. I'm all the way up here to that point. Take these, and then slow this one down, or stop this one at 200. And then you'll actually be stopped. And this is where I guess that is useful. No, that just stops. Yeah, I don't think I like that idea. But the filters work like we thought. Like that until the limit is reached. Yeah, but we, but we want it to be the limit to be tied to the box, not necessarily itself. I'm not sure how you what you would use that for. But either way, this is good because that one's stopped now because we have 382, 83, and onward. Uh, because you're gathering stuff from the end here because these aren't getting used as fast as. Uh, as fast as fast can be. Yeah, I like it. Oh, wait a minute. This is nowhere near right. I need one of these for every one of these. That means I need to have six of them plus three. That means I need to have a lot more of these. Uh, tweaks incoming. Possibly. Although, I'm not sure how I want to handle it now. Um... I'm gonna stop this here. I'm gonna let these guys run a little bit until they stop. And I'm gonna move this a bit. I have an idea. But I need like one more tile. Yeah, I need one more. I'll let these up here finish, because they've got a lot of iron on the belt still. Um you know what? Actually, I will take out. So you're going to be done. You're done. Because they don't have any iron left. I'm going to take out these ones. Completely. I'm going to take just a copy of one. What did I just do? I pressed... I keep hitting C before I have the shift key held down. And that's causing me problems. Uh, so you were somewhere. Uh, there. I need just one more space, I think. But we're going to leave that as a blank one right now. This can go here. Uh, I want crossings possibly right here and right here. Because I'm going to bring over a belt from this side. Like this. And I'm going to merge that in with this one. Like this. Uh, but with a merger. I'm, I'm testing here still, so I don't want to put that in. And I can take this whole thing here. Uh, and I can copy it. And I can rotate it. And it fits. Because when this side's iron, that side's copper. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so then this can come down like that. Oopsie. This here. And that can go there. I can delete that garbage that I put in there. There we go. And then that's my actual new uh, unit of this. Uh, let's get those crossings back in here then. That this can turn on. And then I can copy this whole thing wholesale. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we'll have it'll be able to be twice as many. Although this is running out of iron. And the reason it's running out of iron is because we don't have enough iron anymore. See the gaps? I think that's why. Or it's just a buff belt buffering issue. We'll see what happens. So we need to have six plus three. That's nine. Uh, you're done. Uh, iron is back here someplace. So let's do... Uh, we could probably get away with less than that. Start with eight. Uh, nope, I want the belt two. There. Two. Uh, maybe not then. No, because I don't want that. So let's not do this output belt over here. Let's do this. And then let's do a uh, copy. Two. Three. 
I'll do one more in just a bit. But we might need some more iron here. And I mostly kept this going so that we would keep these going. I didn't I could have just deleted everything and just started over, but that way I kept this going while I was doing my planning and thinking. This is ridiculous, but I like it. But yeah, we definitely needed a lot more um, engines here than I was than I was uh, putting on that belt. Or maybe not. I mean kind of what it boils down to is Alright, you're done now. I'll let... Copper grab one more there, just to be safe. But I think we're done done. Yeah, because you don't have... any gears left? You have one gear, okay. That's fine then. Delete this. Okay. And then I want to copy from here to there. Sans influencer. But that's fine. Copy. And then do this. Sans influencer. And that should take care of it. Uh, we'll delete this and that. We can delete some of these extra belts here. Move my cursor too fast. And we can delete these extra belts here. That's why I have them. We don't need them. And then we'll have to kind of see what this iron situation looks like. We may need either to use a different iron source belt from this, or we may just need more iron here on this bus. We may be using too much. We'll see what it looks like after I let it run for a little while, because it might just back up. In the meantime, uh, where am I at? I lost myself here. We can delete these. We have them done. And then we can take a look at the new things that I only did one of. Uh, we did those. I meant to come in right away and do these electric furnaces. This won't take very long. There's only a thousand of them. And then we also needed to do these, which will be an additional bit on this. But let's take a look at the uh, assembly mark two. Um, assembler, assembly, assembler mark two. Uh, that's going to take mark ones, of course, and more motors four every 2048 so that's one dedicated machine motor machine for that uh assemblers are currently here kind of stuck in the middle with you uh so they're gonna need iron and stone iron and stone you say uh yeah just gonna back up or not i don't think so i think we're using too much there that source iron might not have been the best idea. Maybe. Maybe I should bring another source belt in here. I could do that. I could split right there and just bring it right up along parallel. Or. This might not be good enough. But if that's not good enough, then we, we do another smelting column. And we put them on a faster belt. Going through here. Put them up to a Mark II belt. And maybe that's even where we could start because you can see already the spacing here because of this split and less so this one and then this one for sure is not getting a full good amount there anymore um but the stone um, i wish now that i had realized this i could have pushed these up further but the stone and iron situation here is a bit snug um, i could improve this somewhat by putting these and these instead of having their own builds down here. Um, I could improve that that way, but we still need motors, which means we still need copper. So maybe I just put these Mark II assemblers in a different place, possibly along with these electric ones once we get them done. That could be as well. A good idea as well. I kind of want to wait now. I kind of want to wait until those are done. We're already halfway done, but um, guessing that when I say halfway, I'm talking about the RT ones. They're halfway. 
No, it's just a time thing, because they're backed up still. So it's just a timing thing. But we do get a bunch of them done every... Every 1,000, every 16 seconds, we get 48 every 16 seconds. So it's not a long time. Um, how I want to see how this is backing up, if at all, yet. Because that's going to really be dependent here. Yeah, okay, we're going to do, instead then, we're going to do another iron smelting column. Um, maybe with this iron, although we'd have to use this fuel over here. Also, I should check to see how this fuel looks. Is it making it all the way to the end? Not so much. This should be a merger here, I think. I might clean that up a little. And tighten it up a little. Might. See if that helps. Uh, but I want to do another column. Like I said, here's iron and coal here. Um, Mark gave me a ridiculously good suggestion that I can't believe I'm that dumb not to notice. I could get uh, nine of them in here. If I had just done two rows of almost five here with this influencer, I could move the influencer, but you know I'm not gonna do that. Um, and I could have gotten nine out of this. If we need more stone, we'll do that, but right now we have so much of it, it doesn't matter. Uh, that was dumb. Thank you for that also, Mark. Uh, is this better now? Possibly. It hasn't come all the way down yet. It's just hard to tell at this point. So, we could take this. How much am I going to be able to get? That's not a miner. Am I going to be able to get 13 out of this? No. We're going to need a bit bigger of a patch. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Possibly six out of this, depending on how that works positioning wise. Yeah, I can get six out of this. So I could get six out of this. That's something. But I would need more than that. And we might as well spread out a little bit more. Um, like I could come up here where all this coal and iron is and do this up here. So let's do that. At least do the mining up here. Uh, probably put the smelting column in here someplace. Since we don't need probably that huge freaking stone patch. Um, do this a little bit more here. We're going to want this coal anyway here. That's too big to, to build over. That iron I'm fine with. This one I'm a little bit questionable on. Ah, electric furnaces. Thank you, game. Uh, before we start looking at that, let's take a look at... Or let's start up on this one. Yes, 3,000 more. Okay. Uh, electric furnaces are here. Purple ones, yes. Those are going to take regular furnaces plus wire. So there's copper. Uh, copper and brick. And then this is iron, copper, and brick. I think we could probably just set these up in their own line. I think that's fine. Uh, let's do let's do this smelting, though, since we're, we were talking about it. I'm just going to copy most of this one. We're not going to grab... Actually, you know what? No. Let's grab one of the clean ones. Um, Full-size clean ones. This one is a full-size clean one, but it's different. This one is a full-size clean one. Is it going to be the right direction? I would like to have... No, I want this one. So I'm going to do it anyway. I'll just add more to it. Uh, control C, or Shift C, yeah, Control C. Uh, this can go here. I'm gonna go like there, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like that. Uh, so we'll have a belt of something in, as per usual. I have a belt of something out, starting there. That I'm going to figure out how I'm going to handle. I'll probably have to go around and come in. Uh, I'll have another belt of something in here. And then I need uh, uh, crossings. Here. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13. 
Alright, so I don't care what comes in which spot. Uh, probably this iron, that coal, so let's grab some miners here. Let's go horizontal, because I can do horizontal lines too, Mark. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm... Uh, I'll go here. I need 1.8. See if I can figure this math out in my head without screwing it up. I need 1.8 times 9. I need 16.2. This is 7. This is 7. This is 7. That's 21. I'm good. I will be good here. Okay, so, uh, belt... You'll go here, you'll go here, and you'll go here, and we'll do a three-way mix, uh, merge mix here, merger, uh, this way, like this, I think, like that. That's iron, and then copper, this one I think I'll go, ver or coal, I mean, this one will go vertical. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Uh, because eight ninths is more than point eight, so that's good. Uh, this one. This, oh, this one. Right, because it's an eight, right? Yeah, that's good. And then this can do uh, this type of thing, and we can do a merger here, too. Like that, or possibly like this. Yeah, let's do it like that. Uh, you will be here, then. That seems the easiest. And then you can be over there, wherever that goes. Like that. Uh, arms. We can also have looked at Mark II miners for this. Mark II smelters. That might have been a better idea. Uh, now that I've done it all, let's take a look. Uh, this is going to burn... twice as fast. It'll smelt twice as fast. The miners were twice as fast, I believe. Three, three, four, yes. The, the, the miners are twice as fast. We would need arms that are twice as fast, which we have, and we would be producing twice as much. Twice as fast as the belts, twice as fast everything, basically, so twice as much. Which means that technically we could decommission this one. If we did that, because they'd be going onto this, I think I will just wait for right now and do this as I'm planning it. Uh, for now. We may change my mind later, but for now I'm going to do it this way. Two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then eventually that makes better than thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a bit, a lot. You can go in there, and then this can come. I guess yeah, down and around. Yeah, because I don't want to move that because I've done my stuff. Just come down and around like that. Uh, that means you need to be a merger down here. Going that way. This can come in from there someplace like that. That'll do. I'm fine with that. How are we doing? Chugging along? Chugging along. Looks like a fairly decent compressed belt, and that's because of the merger. That's a... That's a good thing to do. Same thing here, like we're getting a good compressed belt. This is producing more than a full belt because of these. Uh, we're producing a bit more. This one is just a tiny, tiny bit more, so it will back up too, but not as much. This one's going to be always backed up. And it'll be this one most of all because there's more miners here, followed by this one, and then that one probably will never be backed up because there's so few there. And they're also running at... Uh, 77% of their normal speed. 
So that's probably okay too. And so then we need to upgrade the uh, belts to Mark II here as well. Uh, starting at this point, but probably also starting at the merger. Can you just do this? Is there a better way to do replacing these? Uh, I don't know. Can I just do, yeah, that there. And then the splitter here. And then... I'm not making splitter mark twos yet. Oops. Is that because the belts aren't coming down the line yet there? Yeah, they haven't made it that far. Well, yeah, they have. What did I screw up? Oh, the motors haven't made it that far yet. And that's because of the iron... No, the iron... Hmm. No, not the iron. The iron situation. Alright. Uh, motors, then. Can I cause some of these to chill for a while? Let's chill you. Chill you, and you, and you. And you, and you. Means I gotta pull these back in here. Uh, this one is there. That one is there. And that one there. I'm going to need some of these uh, splitters. Not the mergers, the splitters. Crossings, too, but I think I have enough of those probably by now. 37, yeah. We'll get those motors down to the end of this line, and we'll make some of those, those things. Um, and then we can move it back. That's the problem with manifolds, everybody. Even splits are better in those situations if you want even amounts of things being made. I probably should have put these before those. Probably. I did that here. I could still do that here, I suppose, since I'm having them all making the same numbers. But for now, it's fine. Because I use them more. That's the only reason. Okay, uh, splitter, mark two. So have zero. I know it's going to take 2048 to make, but there's one. Okay, good. And then this way we'll have... Is there a way to do better... Upgrading better than this? So that light up. So that means we're getting everything in here we need. Nice. I don't know if upgrading belts is better. If there's a better way to do it or not. You're still being pokey. That. We're doing so much up here, it's crazy. That might be enough to help, though, because now we have a full belt coming out of here that we didn't have before. So that might that might already be enough. Although I would like to have this too. And then really I'd like to have that splitter. And at that point we have belts again, so we should be alright. I'm, I'm wiping out what's on these belts. That's part of the problem. Is when I replace the belt, it wipes it out. Is there an upgrade tool? I don't think there is. You're at zero again. I don't think there's an upgrade tool, but I could be wrong on that. Add. Remove. Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting to... Martin keeps telling me to check this out. Uh, the, the production graphs here will tell you everything you're making. Uh, like, for example, coal, we're producing one point... You, know, you can see the productions of everything, and you can see how much we're producing of coal. Uh, you can see it's gone up in the last... Uh, it's gone up over time, and um, the per hour you can tell that we're producing a lot more now than we were before. Iron, everything. Uh, we're using a lot of iron, of course. It shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Uh, how much we've placed of everything as well. Um, and that's total placed items, I guess, or total current placed items. Um, so that's kind of an interesting, or a nice thing to have, too. You can kind of see what that is. We're only making two chips per minute, but uh, we're barely using the ones we have, so that's understandable. But that'll help you make sure that you're making enough of everything. 
Assuming, of course, that everything is tied into the same factory, which it may or may not be. Let's do that, and then let's also do one of these. Still at zero, huh? Curious. Oh, you're not getting belts because I turned off the motors and we're done. Okay, well, then in that case, I guess I got to put these back in. That'll have to do, but we got a lot now. The question's going to be, do I want to switch these with those, or do I want to not bother? I'm going to go with the not bother answer. We'll just get everything back up and running again, and that'll be fine. Uh, it'll be fine eventually, because it'll be kind of stabilized eventually. Um, so yeah, we'll leave that alone. We'll get uh, another splitter here, I think, would be very useful, and then I think we're kind of in a good spot. We're getting pretty much a whole belt this way now, which means we should get in, getting a bit more up here in the motor situation. Oh, much better. And that means that we can be producing all eight of these. And if we end up needing two more, we can add two more, but uh, uh, to get that nine or ten in that case. But for now, at least this is a better situation, and we're also kind of out of time. So adding more iron to the bus uh, helps, I think. Adding, um, uh, and, and then of course making everything, making all the things as we do all the researches. Uh, we're still working on that uh, flow control. We'll figure out what those will cost in the next episode. We can also go here and do, uh, we'll probably do, although it won't take very long to do, research tier three. I think that's the, the, the last thing we have to do with this just research tier two alone. Uh, if I'm missing anything, we'll catch it later, but uh, that seems logical at least. Long Arms 2 even needs research tier 3, so we'll probably do this one, and we can work on setting that up after we look at the uh, after we look at setting these up in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you then. Bye for now.